Some signs of hope in Saratoga Springs and Schenectady tonight, where two long closed movie theaters are reopening. Mark Mulholland has our Capital Region comeback. The screens have been dark too long. Bowtie Cinema CEO Joe Masher remembers the day nine months ago when they had to shut down. I just was in shock. 10,000 cinema employees still out of work. Masher says New York was the 48th of 49 states to reopen cinemas, but says there are few safer places. The industry has had zero cases of COVID spread, zero, in the United States and in fact the world. Part of that is because they sanitize between each show and use only every other row. Nobody else will be around you. Never more than 25% occupancy and masks stay on unless you're eating. The corn is popping again today for the first time since March. They were planning to only open Schenectady because it has six screens, but they were overwhelmed by people pleading to reopen the 11 screen theater here. Please open Saratoga, please open Saratoga, please open Saratoga, please open Saratoga. So we did. If you're concerned about being in a theater surrounded by strangers, you can reserve an entire auditorium for up to 20 family members. That starts at $99. New releases are $199. The first showings include Midnight Sky with George Clooney. This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. And soon the new Wonder Woman will be on the big screen. If the pandemic was a movie, the business community is hopeful the reopening represents the beginning of a happy ending. Well, hopefully this is that the part of the movie where you start seeing the sun rising, everything opening, uh, there's hope for the future. I think that's really where we are at this point. In Saratoga Springs, Mark Mulholland, News Channel 13.